Hi, this is Wes, and this little guy is David. He was just born on Thursday, September 21st, and he is the cutest little thing in the entire friggin' world. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's making a little whimpering noise. It's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so I wanted to go over the trades that were taken by the robot uh, in this past week. And we're going to go through that right now, actually. I'm going to turn this over to my screen so we can take a look. All right, so here is my screen. Ooh. Ah, still asleep. Okay, cool. All right, here's my screen. Uh, we're going to be going through the trades that the robot took last week, which we already went through a lot of them earlier this week with a different video, but we're going to go through what I'm doing about the currently open trades and why I am doing those things. But first, let's go over some of these trades. So last week, we had a good trade on the British pound New Zealand dollar, which is all the way back here. Wow, we had a lot of good trades on the British pound New Zealand dollar last week. It was pretty awesome. Okay, let's go back to just here. So we had a buy trade. Nope, that was the week before. There we go. Okay, had a nice buy trade. And then we didn't have anything for a little while. Then we had a really cool sell trade, which immediately went bad, which is awesome. Why is it awesome? Because then we get a second trade. And there are occasions where I might place a third trade if I'm confident enough that things are about to turn around. In this case, I just, I was in the hospital with little David here. Sorry, uh, I was in the hospital, so I did not actually check to see if I could place another trade. I just let the robots handle everything. And they handled it quite nicely, and it got out over here. This, this is that trade right there. Uh, and then we got another buy trade, and then another buy. Well, these are these two are this week. Buy trade, buy trade, sell trade. So we took three trades pretty close together uh, this week so far. And But that's not the one that I wanted to look at the most. I wanted to look at the euro US dollar because I would like to show you an example of where these trades go a little bit, I don't know. I hate to say bad, but yeah, they go, they go kind of bad. <laughs> um, last week, as you may remember... I changed my robot settings on the euro US dollar to take more profit and in doing so it took a trade that ended up uh, recovering some loss that I took on these two trades. These two trades were open for a lot longer than I wanted them to be and so I closed them out and I lost like three dollars you know it's a big big deal you know like whoa three dollars but then it almost immediately after that took a trade on the euro US dollar and made ten dollars so that was awesome but in going for more profit sometimes you have to experience uh, times where the robot has trades open for a longer period of time so this is the indicator set to 7 and 70 on the simple moving average uh, 1 and 2 cross so that's why they're a lot further apart than what you would normally see on the other settings now let me put the let me put the indicator on there with the previous settings so previously it was 17 and 24 they were closer together because i was going for less profit and i just wanted to place more trades in this case we would have had some pretty nice trades uh we would have had uh, a couple of nice buy trades here in a row this sell trade probably wouldn't have closed uh, at a profit until we took the second trade up here and would have closed down here for profit uh, but if we hadn't even gotten into this one like let's say we stayed in this buy trade for a while longer and we took another buy trade here and made some more money etc and then even if we took these two sell trades they would have been making money by now this buy trade here would have gotten out at a profit up here a little bit because uh i was only going for a dollar thirty and then we would have had these two nice sell trades, these two nice sell trades. And then if we had taken this buy trade right here, we would have gotten out in profit over here. And uh, so if I had been using the previous settings, 
yeah, the I would have had some pretty good trades. But I'm going for a little bit more profit now per trade. I'm going for $10. And actually, now that there's two trades open, I'm going for 25 Hey. I'm just shaking his foot around. Silly goose. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways. So right now, I'm still in these two euro US dollar trades. Now, why am I so confident that they are going to close at a profit eventually? Because I have done plenty of testing that has shown that to be the case. So I wanted to show you a couple of trades from back testing that are very similar to what we just saw and what are open right now for me. All right, so for instance, this buy trade right here on the euro US dollar on February 16th, 2016. This buy trade, it, it actually went into profit just a little bit, but then it just tanked. And let's just, it just goes down for a while. Took another buy trade here and almost took profit here, but then it just tanked again. It just went down and down, and then it started coming back up, and then it went back up for a little while, and then it was like, oh no, it dropped. But then it took profit right there, and then it immediately took another trade and took another profit right there. Now, how far down was this drawdown? It looks like a lot, but it's a five-minute chart. And so this drawdown actually ended up only being about $140. So it wasn't actually that bad. It just looks, it looks a lot worse than it was. Um, and then we actually had a couple of sell trades that also, well, the first trade went kind of bad, but then this, when the second trade opened, it closed almost immediately. So, anyways, there are several other examples. Like, if we go back to the very beginning of all of these trades, all these really cool trades. <laughs> what all these cool trades? Oh, here we go. This one right here was one that it went up, and look, it almost took profit up here. I mean, this was pretty good trade. And then it just went down. It took another buy trade, but then it didn't really see much drawdown after that, and it just took profit up there. And this was at the beginning of the year. This is just the first couple of months of 2016. We saw all these really, really good trades in between. There's a nice buy trade, nice sell trade, a couple of nice sell trades. Anyways made a lot of nice trades and then occasionally we get stuck in something that is just not good but it exited out at a profit and that's why i am staying in my euro us dollar trades until they finally exit out this trade lasted gosh two weeks a little over two weeks but that's why we run the robot on multiple currency pairs and let me show you what's happening right now with the British Pound New Zealand dollar, which we already looked a little bit at this just earlier in the video. But watch, since those two Euro US dollar trades opened up, I have made a dollar, see, what is that, a dollar 20? No, $2.20. Wow. 220 plus 130 is uh, five, no, sorry, 350, uh, 480. And six dollars and ten cents, six dollars twenty cents, something like that. So even though the euro US dollar trades are kind of stuck at the moment, I'm still making money on the British pound New Zealand dollar. It's just still plugging right away or right along. It's pretty awesome. And that's the point of running it on multiple currency pairs. Anyways, that is the update for this week. And this is David again. He is totally out, man, but he is so cute, so I'm going to go sit down and just watch him sleep for a little while. Oh yeah, I need to stop the video though.